Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Stage. Last time we went all the way to the south end of the world and climbed Chundaria Tower. There we gained a new Psynergy Burst, which I equipped on Shiba. And of course we would run into new enemies actually. Interesting. But let's see how that works. This is probably not going to damage that one too hard. But at least we got rid of the knight, so that's nice. I did not expect to find any more new enemies in this place. <laughs> and I don't think I ever ran into the dark knight on my practice run. Anyway, Shiba, your turn to shine. Burst the thing wide open. Oh yeah. What do we get? What do we get? It's the center prong. This seems like an item that Pierce should be having. Yes. Have fun with that, Pierce. Please don't use it for what I think you are gonna use it for. Don't mind me. No, this room. There is another one of these rooms. We saw one of them yesterday. With two chests. And we have more stone stone chests. Because sure, why not? Yeah, see the energy of the one that's guaranteed to die after you unleash that on him. <laughs> Ooh, nice! We done Mother Gaia. Nice. Hmm, another one of these. Well, we know what to do. Shiba, work your magic. And from this room we can finally access Ooh, a chest with a synth feather and a lucky medal. And the squirrel fang who is gonna get their butt kicked. Right on. Because nobody likes Squirrel Fang. And we can also access the other two chests that were here. Which contain a lightning sword, among others. Wow, an increase of 43 attack. As opposed to an increase of 31 attack. Congratulations, Felix. Your uh, equipment I got off screen one episode ago is already completely outdated. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Them's the brakes. So now that I have a say a sort of feather. I'm thinking of returning to Yalam, but it doesn't actually seem to be worth it just for the bloody silk feather. To be fair, Sheba could use some defense. You know what? I'll think about it. Let's get out of here first, because we've cleared Tundaria Tower now. We are down here. Now I might meet you in Yalam to forge the Silk Feather, or I might meet you directly at my next goal, which is right up here. So I'll make the way back off stream. Because walking all that way back, not too fun a time. Yeah. And getting across the ocean, similarly. <laughs> 
So yeah, until later. So yeah, I decided we should get some defensive defensive equipment for Sheba. And the Silk Feather seems kind of ideal for that. So let's have this guy make us a little something special. From our Silk Feather. He has several pieces of equipment. I don't actually know which one would be best for Sheba, but I'll take anything that looks decent on her. There's also a weapon we could get from the Silk Feather, but I honestly don't care about that one. I'm pretty sure all of the equipment I have at the moment is kind of better than anything he can make for us right now. Gloves. That sounds like something Sheba can really use because the clear bracelet increases water power, which she doesn't particularly use. There's a speed and wind oak. Well, <laughs> yes, I would very much like to have that on freaking Sheba. Look at that! Awesome! And it raises her wind power! Let's give that to Felix. I'm gonna sell that off screen. Now I'm really happy with those area gloves. That was really nice. So I'm gonna sell my excess equipment off screen and gonna sort these things to their rightful owners. So next stop I'll meet you at that island where I said I would meet you. And I made my way all the way up here. Yay! Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a while since we ran the general vicinity when we got I think the lower stuff from here? Or was it the Hackbone Maze? Well, whichever one, it's one of the awesome buttons that our Lady Mages use. Are you seeing? Anyway, on this island, there's a little town here. The town of Izumo. Ha! Huh. Still have Mind Read equipped, that's nice. Great Serpent! Maybe it's hungry? Or it's just cranky because... I don't know... <laughs> or maybe the Serpent is just into young girls. Think alike. Huh. Well, anyway, we have a new shop here, and the shopkeep lady looks actually kind of cool, cute. So, we have new artifacts here. Um, there are buttons such as the Shamshir that are already outdated by our awesome equipment. <laughs> I suppose I could have come here way earlier and gotten these uh, um, equipment things. But, oh well. I do want the war gloves though. And I'm gonna be giving them to Felix. No, I want to hand that out and down to um, my dude, Pierce. There are many more pieces of equipment, none of which I care about. Also, we can't buy back the 
class change items if we really wanted to. The convenient thing about this shop is it's a weapon and armor shop, which I really like. And we even have items such as Psy Crystals, which I'm not gonna pass up just because I'm rather unlikely to ever use them. Doesn't mean I don't want them. Other than that, all of this equipment is old and outdated. Yeah. <laughs> now this always reminds me we need boots for frigging peers. But boots can apparently only be bought in Al Hafra. They don't really have boots anywhere else. Which frankly sucks, kind of. Also, while I would love to get, um... Actually, you know what? I think Sheba... would look kind of good in the silver vest over the adept clothes. It's a shame she loses the um, PP bonus, but... I think a little bit more defense would do her quite well. Cool. Oh, that sounds awfully familiar. Wasn't there a treasure in here? No wait, that was in the next house over. There also shouldn't have been a treasure in one of these jars, right? No. Okay. Well. Also, this seems oh, for this site loanable. Wow. To right on top of that antidote. Anything fancy in here other than stuff I can nick? Ah, crap! Why did I buy equipment? I wanted to give the festival code to Sheba. Actually, it's equally good as. You know what? In this case... Congratulations, Chenna, for your new equipment right there. Chenna can use luck more, better than... Um, you have 16 freaking luck? Are you crazy woman? <laughs> By how much does this thing raise the luck? Plus 10, okay, that's, that explains a lot. But yeah, luck influences critical hits and stuff. And given her speed and her relatively high attack power, I mean, look at that, she has the same attack power as freaking Piers. This is not normal, unless you're on math or something. Oh well, um. Old man, talk to me. Yeah, about that. <laughs> huh. Well. <laughs> Alcohol to humans, 
I mean, really? <laughs> to be fair, low doses of alcohol probably strengthen you rather than weaken you. It puts a little bit of chemical stress on your cells and they grow stronger. In theory, anyway. Save this Kushinada and Susa because he's frigging reckless. Can we not check the drum? Silly game. So that should give me that. No, not in there, but in here. Yay, smoke bomb. how the lottery works, right? Also, we can totally not get up here. <laughs> huh. When is the next full moon? Because we are kinda here. <laughs> They are kind of legendary warriors. Also, there's a thing up here. It's some freaking water of life. Oh, yeah. I believe there should also be something cyclonable around here, wasn't there? No? Wrong area. Whoops. Anyway, let's check out this place first. Huh. It's almost if th as if there were uh, fire adapts around. Because, let me just check this out. Move is freaking fire elemental. And it's mostly Earth Adepts that have it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this looks awfully a lot like... Um, one of those reveal circles, and it totally is. We can't do anything about that yet, though. We are missing a synergy to actually access what's hidden below there. It's a fun pastime for serpents. <laughs> it depends on what he's going to do with a girl, I mean, really. Then again, you are like pseudo Japan, so... It probably has to do with tentacles and stuff. Lucky medals for me. There should be one more treasure. A freaking elixir. Kushinada. We aren't Susa. And 
she's also kind of blind, because we are not Sousa. <laughs> then again, Felix is a silent protagonist. I mean, who is gonna tell her? <laughs> well, can't talk to her any more than that. The game will not let you advance. So, a few more people in here to talk to. Sounds like a certain thing to do. Huh. Surely that's just a normal mountain, nothing special about it. Other than the serpent, of course. to lay the pressure on like that. <laughs> ah, freeing people. Well, seems like next time on Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. We are going to be heading to Mount Mikage. Can we see it from here? Oh, hey, it is down there, and it looks kind of familiar. Well, that's where we're going next time. That's Ghost Ghost Mage is here, by the way. Like this Ghost Mage, whose fash face I bashed in. Right, good. I don't have... Oh, I have lots of... Dumpster. I should be fine with the inventory space. It's Gaia Rock! Fun times! Another rock type area. In short succession after Aqua Rock. But this is where we are going next time. Gaia Rock, the Earth Elemental Rock. There should also be a fire elemental rock, but I think that's still quite a ways away in the western sea somewhere. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is Legion, and fare thee well.